Hi everybody, Merry Christmas. You know, this season we'll be going to the beautiful, beautiful Christmas liturgies and hearing those wonderful stories from the Word of God surrounding the wondrous mystery of the Nativity of our Savior. One of those stories that's familiar to all of us is that of the announcement to the shepherds that a Savior had been born to them and that the world could now know peace. And the shepherds, right away, they ran to see for themselves Mary and Joseph with the child in the manger. And it says in those stories that Mary pondered all that she was hearing about her son and treasured those words deep within her heart. I'd like to suggest that what this tells us of our Blessed Mother is very instructive for us at this Christmas season and indeed always. Because it raises the question, how do I respond to the word when it is proclaimed? What do I do when I hear these wonderful stories? It's an important question because since they're so familiar to us, there's a real risk of taking them for granted and not really listening to them, especially at a time when we're pretty busy and distracted with all sorts of things. But Mary's teaching us that we really do need to make time to create space to ponder, really to allow these words to sink in. Not just to sink in, but, but to transform our lives. The Word of God is transformative. It speaks to us of Jesus. And when we allow His Word and its power to settle into ourselves, when we experience the joy of the transformation of life that it brings, then we, like Mary, also will treasure those words. We will recognize them as the most, most precious gift that God gives. So my hope for you, my prayer for you, for myself also, of course, is that during this time, we will let these beautiful Christmas stories reach us as they truly are, God's powerful word. And by the help of his Holy Spirit, will ponder them, seek to understand them deeply, and allow them to bring about the transformation in our lives that God wills for us, a transformation that leads to his Christmas gift of true abiding peace. God bless, Merry, Merry Christmas to you and to all your loved ones.